Pollock clips the ball down this left hand side McEwen look to flick it on he's out to battle really hard there Corey McEwen but the ball pops out and for Pollock on the halfway line Finley Shrimpton gives the ball back to Brad James and James watches that carefully and launches it first time up towards Ramshaw Shrimpton gets his toe on that one and keeps it in Moore's possession and Ledger hangs one forward and that'll be interesting if it hangs in the wind Harris is interested the goalkeeper heads it clear in the end he wasn't entirely certain it was going to go into the penalty area for him Staunton now down the line for McEwen he's got Dolan inside of him McEwen though turns the ball back to Staunton whose ball in the box is cleared away by Mbeo at the front post and it's out of play for a throw in been oh. excellent Reece Staunton hasn't he and uh, that's what you want to see him is bombing up that left wing Staunton now he whips a ball in the middle and Harris was at the front post but he couldn't steer his effort on target there he maybe caught that too flush the uh, Moore's striker he just tried to angle it across his ankle and direct it towards goal but he was at the front post he was in f beyond the front post really and uh, he couldn't direct it back across goal and it's wide for a goal kick he's still holding his face there Ben Pollock still and he's still talking to Danny Wright with, yeah. uh, Wright who's now got a smile on his face yeah, it's not the same gesture that Ben Pollock has. <laughs> Long ball forward there. Right, it's This time it's Robinson and Mbeka doing the battle and it falls for Wright. And Wright tries to steer it in behind for Robinson. And uh, Pollock hasn't got it clear and then the shot comes in from Wright. And it's on target. But uh, thankfully for Moors, Brad James is right behind it and he wasn't going to let that through. But it was the first real sight of goal for either of these teams there. It was Danny Wright who found the space 20 yards out to have a shot. Greenfield whips it in there, it's cleared away by Wright, collected by McEwen, Staunton does well, comes inside, he might have a shooting oh, angle here, he just uh, closed up on him and Greenfield lifts it into the box and Becker couldn't quite direct it on target, he wants a corner but the referee isn't interested, it was lofted in dangerously from the left by Greenfield and then Becker couldn't direct it on goal and it's wide. Shrimpton across to the right hand side now and Ledger comes forward back to Shrimpton Ledger again Ledger comes in field looking for a teammate here he's found Mbeka who's oh that's clever play by Mbeka little drag back and now Shrimpton's in a bit of space between the lines he slides it through for Ramshaw right hand side Ramshaw drills across in the box by four for Shrimpton oh, oh it's it's good defending wide. Really determined defending by the Gloucester City defenders in there. And Bill and Duffus both throwing themselves in the way. McGrory was part of that as well. It looked like Shrimpton was going to be in to celebrate the extension of his loan with his third goal in Moore's Colours, but he was denied. And Beckett stands and nods it down in the path of Ledger. And Ledger pushes it forward into a bit of space for Shrimpton. Here's Greenfield on the right. Ramshaw makes the run. It's chipped forward into his space. And Ramshaw takes a good first touch. And his second one might find its way across to McEwen. Touch. Oh, you can't take a touch there. It just bounced up a little awkwardly on him, didn't it? He had to probably... Unless he was going to... It was a difficult volley, I suppose, effort. But the, the defender got back at him just as he tried to take it on the thigh there as it bounced up to McEwen. And it's gone behind for a corner. I can see what you're saying. He, he, if he had taken it first time, it was a difficult chance. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, just that touch just allows the Gloucester defenders to just get in the way. And, that, and obviously, that's what they do. But, you know, I'd have also said if he hit it first time and he smashes it 10 yards <laughs> over the bar, I'm saying, why is he shot first time? But as it is, He hasn't been shown that card as yet. Record puts the ball in the box. Right trying to take it on his chest. This is dangerous. Chance for Gloucester. And the block from Ben Pollock sends the ball behind. Good defending because Gloucester have started this second half positively here. Trying to get on the front foot. And they've won themselves the first corner of this second half on the right-hand side. And this season, technically, that should be a yellow card. As it is, it'll be a retake and free kick. Dolan is over at this time. The sun is awful, isn't it? Causing a havoc over on the far side for us in the press box now. As Dolan hangs one in towards Harris. 
And Horace gives a good touch on it. Scobie, he turns and is he pushed back there? The referee gives a penalty! It is a penalty. Harris did ever so well for the first time, got the better of Duffus and Mbio. And it's a yellow card for Duffus for the tug on the shirt of Will Harris. And it's a penalty here. I haven't started the second half so well. Gloucester now face a spot kick. Will Harris does really well there, doesn't he? Just got to stand strong. And you know, the way it's been all afternoon, it's been physical, it's been scrappy. Someone's going to grab all the air, and, he, and that's exactly what he gets. It is a, the, the whinging, I get that, but for me, that's a clear penalty. Very clear penalty. He won the penalty, and now he's going to take responsibility from the spot. A hush descends over the brewery field. A key moment in this afternoon's proceedings, and Will Horace strokes it home. He sends Jared Thompson the wrong way. And Moors lead by a goal to nil here inside the first five minutes of the second half. And it's Will Harris on target from the spot. Yep, real calm penalty, really calm penalty. Composed and put away, it's really nice. Like you just said, Marty, though, it's against the run of play, and that's the main thing for me. You said it's a crucial time, and you've got to weather a storm, you've got to stand patient, you've got to stand strong, and then you'll get that chance at the other end. That's exactly what Will Harris has done. He wins the penalty really well, and then really, even better, puts it away. Ledger coming forward. Ledger inside, a bit of space for Greenfield, who turns quickly and runs towards the edge of the box. Plays it square for Staunton, who comes forward from fullback. Staunton slides it through a gap. Greenfield left hand side. Moore's looking a bit more lively at the moment here. Greenfield back to Staunton, down the line for McEwen. McEwen keeps it moving. Staunton's on side, and he tries to chop back on his left foot, but the defender does enough. Oh, but Staunton's won it back, and he gives it to McEwen on the left hand side. McEwen trying to find the angle for a cross here. It's all a bit congested, but he plays a lovely one too, and McEwen puts it across. But it's too close to the goalkeeper who collects it. Good football by Moors, though. But it is a free kick as the wind, as you said, it's not showing no signs of abating here, unfortunately. A free kick on the left-hand side, though. Can Moors find the extra reward here? 65 minutes on the clock. Greenfield whips it in. It's a hanging delivery to the far post. Pollock's going to get there! And it's hit it's it and Glenn Taylor announces his arrival back on the scene with his goal there. He couldn't have asked for one more on the plate. It's headed back across by Pollock. And there he was, Glenn Taylor, finding the positions that he always finds. And it's 2-0 on 66 minutes. Yeah, really good ball. Use the win there as well. Pollock just drifts off. He's, he's allowed far too much space. And... It's a good header of back across goal, and you don't know if it's going in, but Glenn Taylor can make no mistake from there, and he's right to just put it away. Come on, keep going! Towards Taylor now. Taylor holds off his man. But it falls loose for Gloucester, and they try and play the ball forward, and it's a good piece of play, and they've got in here. Oh, that's, that's a, great a fine hit. save. It was really well hit. It was, uh, trying to see who it was, it was Brandon Small it was who got away down the left-hand side. He got to the wrong side of uh, Lebrun and Becker there and he hit a decent volley, uh, a half volley there. The low towards the near post and uh, James got down exceptionally quickly to turn it around the post. It's difficult to see whether it was sneaking in. It looked like it might have been. I think it was, yeah. I think it's a really good save. And, back. and uh, Greenfield will whip the ball into the middle here, can Moores find further profit, it's gone all the way across and it's going to be helped back into the middle by Fletcher and it falls loose and it's into the top corner and it's Callum Ross who scores to make it 3-0 on 88 minutes exactly and Moores makes sure of victory in fine style, the corner wasn't dealt with, Fletcher put it back in the middle and it dropped kindly and Callum Ross whacked it into the top corner but again, you know, we talk about depth early and Callum Ross is a substitution. He, he, he's one of the better midfielders I've seen in this league. He's, he's been excellent most games, so he's done that. Came, came on, he's been played a very professional appearance when he's come on. He's defended well, and so he deserves that goal for me.